Welcome everyone, welcome to RJ Boxing. Today we're going to be talking Clatterall v Taylor. We're going to do a post-fight review of the fight. Yeah, the big rematch everyone was excited for. Taylor versus Catterall 2. Obviously there was a lot of controversy in the first fight. A very poor decision. Most people thought Catterall really deserved to win that one. It was a rematch two and a half years in the making. A lot of bad blood. So yeah, there's a lot, of lot to talk about. Me and Rav... I'm going to jump in and discuss it now. So yeah, Rav, first up, the main thing with this one, it was a much, much better fight than the first one. The first one, they were both standing off of each other a little bit. This one, there was a lot of skills on the show still, but it was an all-out war as well. Why do you think this is? Do you think it's because they both had so much to prove coming into this very much? I think it was because there was a revenge in this fight because obviously Clatterall lost the first one. But in my opinion, he won it. Obviously, the judges give it to Taylor, and a lot of people saying that Taylor won it. Some people saying Clatterall won it, but I think Clatterall won the last one. He won it with ease, but the judges give the decision to Taylor. So, obviously, in his fight, Clatterall wanted his revenge in this fight. He wanted to get this win, so he had to prove himself. So, he had to up his game in this one, and he did. And he showed everyone that he had skilled him, had boxed him, he was slipping punches. And obviously throwing the jab out, he's knocking the job out. He won most of them rounds with ease. Yeah, definitely. I think I, I agree with everything Rad just said there. It was because in this one, they both had so much to prove. Taylor had everyone slagging him off, saying that he didn't win the first fight, saying that he got completely scored by Jack Catterall. And then obviously Jack Catterall on the flip side is coming in thinking, I won that first fight, but the judges didn't give me the decision. So now what I've got to come into this and put no doubt in it this time, try and stop Josh Taylor or win so wide on the cards that nobody can disagree with it. What's your opinion on this fight? Because there's a lot of people running about the scorecards. Yeah, again, there's, uh, there's not controversy in my opinion. There's moaning about the scorecards from Taylor's team. Not even Taylor himself, he hasn't really complained too much. But I think the people saying that now that Taylor was robbed, they're just stupid, really. It was clearly a Jack Catterall win. He won the fight wide on my card. I had it eight rounds to four in favour of Jack Catterall, which is... 116, 112 on the cards, the same as one of the judges had it. The 117, 111, 9 3 to Catterall, I can see that happening too. It was, in my opinion, a clear win, so I don't see why people like Bob Arum, old guy in his 90s now, so maybe he didn't really see it properly, jumping in the ring, having a moan, trying to steal Catterall's moment. The first fight was a robbery, this one was not a robbery. At all, I thought Catterall won it clearly. What about you, Rav? Do you think Catterall won yeah, it quite he clearly? Yeah, he won his fight clearly. You can tell he's knocking his job out, slimming all punches, and he was getting in there and really attacking. Like the last fight, he didn't really show his aggression, so that's why the judges might have given the win to Taylor. Yeah, I think that was the difference in this one. Taylor still tried to press the action, he tried to be more aggressive, but in them first six rounds, as Rav just said, Catterall's jab is phenomenal, man, for that southpaw stance. Just flicking it out. He was throwing threes and fours and every time Taylor's head was going back every time. And then obviously he was coming more aggressive with the power shots too. He didn't give Taylor a chance in the first six rounds. But then in the last six rounds, Taylor actually came on a bit stronger. Rab, do you think that's because Catterall was tiring or do you think Taylor thought, fuck it, I've got to put the pressure on him now? I think it because he was tiring and obviously... Taylor had to put the pressure on to try and get the win because obviously the first six rounds he lost in my opinion so he was trying to get it back. He needs to really push it to get the win but yeah, he still lost. Definitely. I think Taylor fought well in those last six rounds but still I think I gave Catterall like three of them in there. So yeah, clear win once again on the cards for Catterall. The good thing is he actually got the decision that he deserved this time. Guys, thanks for watching. If you could let us know your opinions on this fight in the comments, that would be grateful. Thank you.